page, and today we are going to be using some printables that I did, and some little wood blocks. We're going to do a shabby chic little uh, shelf sitters or tear trace uh, sitters, either one you can use it for. So I'm going to go ahead and start by painting our stuff, but we're going to be using these prints. I'm going to land back there, and I'm going to do the pink of our tone for one. This way it will give you an idea of what the uh, backgrounds will look like if you, use, if you use different paints behind them. Oh, it catches. But we're going to go ahead and paint this one. This one's the Dutch Aqua. I will be painting this part here. the edges. Okay, we're going to set that aside and let it dry. I'm just touching up where my finger touched it. And I've already painted this in this one. I have two of these that I've already painted that we can work with while those are going to be dried. Okay, I'm just going to use this brush I used with the white on the pink. It's not going to hurt it. Tell me what y'all been up today. Have you had a good day, a busy day? Was that a day off work or did you work today? How do you feel your day? How did you feel your day? Okay, you got that one. You can set it over and let it dry. You may have to do a couple of coats, but we're going to go ahead and do this one in the warm buff. So we'll have a Dutch Aqua warm buff and, sorry, I keep getting out of the film. And the pink and the white background is for the two big ones. I'm just wiping some of this paint off my fingers. Now, do this one right here with this brush. Just the one I only want to go clean, lean over here. I like this warm buff. Let me just I like the uh, natural tones of things. Sorry about the fly. We hear the fly buzzing. It's that time of year. So I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to let that dry. And start with these two right here. Too. So I'm going to decide. I'll probably put one of each on there. I'm just going to cut out a rose that I want on here. And I think I want the uh, light pink on this one. So I'm going to cut that out. Okay. We got it out. It looks cute. And I'm going to put it on here like this. I'm just going to see where I want. So let's go here. I'm going to put it right there on, but we're going to use, dip it in there, and I'm going to put it on the back of the paper. Make sure you get the edges completely covered. And I'll put it on here. But you use whatever medium you have. All my other mediums are outside, so this is what we're using. Let me see. All right, I want it down right here. I'm gonna make sure I got enough on the edges. You wanna make sure you get all your edges down. It's gonna go down. Might have to put a little more right there. Okay. I think I got it all down, except for this edge here. Right there. Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? You just, um, whatever you have, you just stretch your edges like this too, if you want to. I do like that. 
Right here. And you also can stamp over top of these if you have a stamp with wording on it. You can stamp over top of it. But I forgot to bring my stamp inside. I was going to stamp over these, but I forgot to bring it inside. So I'll have to do that part later and post a picture of it. But I'll post a picture of them without the stamp and one with. But see, little edges. Isn't that cute? Edge right there that goes up, and get it down. Three more edges up. I think we got them all. So now let's dry it. <laughs> You want to go over the top of this with a tool, but I don't have any in here. You can spray tool it or just take a mod pop on the top of it, either one. I'm just not done it yet because I don't have a glue in here. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing as we did the other one. Oops, right here. Just a little bit of this, just tracing around the edges with my ink pad. And this is a vintage copper, I think. And just a tad bit around the edges, not much. Doesn't take much. And we keep going. See, and now you've got a set. Oops. And these are so cute to sit in here trays or on your little shelves, on a bookshelf or something. And here's our three we painted. And there's the touch aqua, the sand, and then the pink one. Okay. So. I think I'm going to use something from here on maybe the blue one. And let me see. I think I'll use something from this on there, one of these roses. Not that one, though. I'm going to decide on what I want to use. Which, well, I think I'm going to use this. Put that here on there. Okay. With the glue. I'm going to take the glue. In the sponge, the ink and the glue, and water mixture, and put it on here. And as I said, make sure you got your edges. I'm just gonna put it on here. Okay, see, there's that one. And we will take the dryer over it when I put them all on here because I'm gonna do them all at the same time. Them all at the same time. So I'm going to put this one about right here. Let's put that one on. Like so. And then just do just the edges. The edges down. Then we'll take the dryer over it. Put some on this one. And you can tell me in the comments which one of these are your favorite colors. Or if you even like them. If you don't, let me know. I'd love to hear from you all too. So, let's see. Yes. We got it on here. Make sure you got your edges down. Sure, I got all these edges. Right there. Okay. Now let's take the
got all three of these. So cute. Look at these. They are cute. They're all different. See, this is the fat chocolate. The Awamba. And this is just the Camo. I think it's. No, Hydrangea Pink. I thought it was the Camo, but it's the Hydrangea Pink. But look how cute are these. Aren't these adorable? I don't know. You get a French stamp and stamp over like the top around these have the backgrounds on these they're going to be so pretty but i'm going to be doing that and posting it in a picture and here's the tin tail because i don't have that in here with me so i will be posting that on a future fry version try to get them on all in here let me know what do you think about these everybody have a blessed evening bye bye